Hey guys, it's Dobby here with some more XCOM 2. It's Operation Fire Shield. And we need to go to secure the first disabled UFO of the campaign. I'm pretty damn nervous about this. I've never done a UFO on the uh, All Pods active campaign. Not to mention, the Berserker packs are still active, so I don't know if that's just in the Gorilla missions. I don't think so. I expect to face a Gorilla. Ugh, a Gorilla. A pack of Berserkers, along with a very, very difficult UFO, so it's not going to be easy. We also don't have any assault troopers available, which would have been great. So, to kind of help with that, the fact that we can't get uh, close combat specialist shots for free, I've taken three rangers along. I mean, our roster is hurting actually a little bit with some injuries and whatnot. So anyway, we've got all three of our best rangers. We've got uh, Hanson, Shinobi, rocking the acid bomb. Two gunners in Deus Ex and Makot. Quad foxes are grenadier with two freeze grenades and one regular plasma grenade. That's one, two, three, four plasma grenades. Should be plenty for a UFO. And then of course we've got Yoon bringing the heels and blue screen rounds pretty much all around. Except for Fossi Tal who's got the dragon rounds, extra damage. Uh, armor piercing on Donkey Rod because I want him to get the kills. Remember he's got that uh, adrenaline surge ability. And then Portnoy I've had to give tracer rounds to because his aim just sucks. 71 is really low for a ranger. And he's a lieutenant already and his aim still sucks. Okay, well hang on, he can still get 1, 2, 3, 4 more level ups. He might be decent, but I'm, I'm worried about how low his aim is. We're not giving him a shotty maybe. Because he's got 12 mobilities, that's doable. There's a superior stock and advanced laser sight on that hacker. Ooh, we've got a hairy, shotty, the auto loader. The hell, let's, let's try the shotgun on him. We could just use him as a, as a straight move and shoot. And then if Berserkers get close enough, hell, he won't have any trouble hitting them. Then does he need to have tracer rounds? God, I don't know. No, let's, 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 let's stick with the plan and uh, the hacker. Alrighty, Operation Fire Shield. Let's do this. I think this mission is going to be all about staggering the opponents uh, and dealing with them in as spread out a manner as possible. But of course, that's going to be super challenging because once we go loud, we're going to have six turns to get that damn distress beacon switched off. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll drop in, see if we can find some good high cover, fight hard, and then push onto the UFO. And it looks like they managed to disable a UFO on the ground. We're moving in to secure the site. Eliminate any hostile resistance and seize whatever gear you can from that ship. We'll do central. And we can really do with the alloys and Illyrium as well, so it's a timely landing. But bear in mind, it's not an essential mission, so if we get into trouble, we can always just uh, evac. Okay, interesting map layout so far. Those transformers are excellent because you can they're all high cover. UFO site coordinates locked in. <coughs> Move to secure the area. Neutralize all hostiles. Nothing central. Okay, Hanson, you're obviously lead scout, being that you're a shinobi. Roger. The obvious terrain to fight from here is going to be this high ground. One, two, three bits of high cover. That'll be four, five. Yeah, that's good. And there's even more high cover here. Okay, good. And it'll force aliens to fight from from the doorways in the UFO, which we don't mind, because in any case, we're going to be grenading there and moving in. We're going to need to get a visual on that computer. So, as long as we can grenade here and get that door open, we should have a visual. That's a window, though, so the other option is to fight from here. I don't like that there's only half cover there and really nowhere to go, and there's no high cover either. Move Hansen in, I think. Excellent position. We know there are aliens right there, so we gotta be super careful. It's our way up there. I'm on the move. Oh, that's actually nice. Rangers, Rangers, Ranger. That's high cover. 
Yep, I like this. Okay. Good. Good. Now I think I saw a pot of aliens right here. And there's a ladder there, so there's a small chance that might even path up here on the next turn. Got it. So everybody just stay in cover. Take your time. Rangers up front. Come on, let's go. Most important that our rangers get to good high cover, that they can set up a good base of fire. Moving to position. Everyone's just gonna run up this ladder here. Another one there, hardly worth it. Oh, that's good high cover, but I'm worried about the sight lines from there and the range as well. The challenge is going to be finding a combination of cover where we have, like, for example, a ranger there, a ranger there, on the assumption that all of the aliens are going to come from this side. So I think ranger, ranger, specialist who can then get his command range to hit them to boost them. We'll put Ranger, 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 Specialist, and everyone else must just kind of figure it out as and when the battle kicks off. What is it exactly that you need me to do? Now, I could have brought a sharpshooter instead of one of the gunners, and this t uh, tower here makes me think that it might have been worth it, but I'm not a big fan of, of snipers on uh, UFO missions. They're obviously essentially useless once you're inside the, the UFO. And these UFO maps tend to be quite claustrophobic and close up like this. I think we made the right choice, and I mean, the, the gunners need the experience and they do good damage. Oh, god damn it. Okay, we got problems. If you ever watch shots, might be very lucky for us. Dodges though, the bastard, and that's gonna split. That should be easy to take care of. Hmm, should be. Let's see, the rest of the map's gonna run at us though. Super scary. If we're lucky, they'll only activate in the next turn. Menace one five. We just picked up an nope. outbound signal coming from the UFO. It's some kind of distress beacon. Loads of snakes. Two mechs. Crap, what kind of mechs are those? Uh, Auto Dock and Riot. Okay, good. Those are the two least threatening uh, mechs that could have been. Heavy mech and Archer mech. Biohazard mech. That, 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 that's the worst case scenario. The Archer mech is such a ball bag. It launches grenades across the entire bloody map. Oof, I don't know how we're going to do this. I think this mission is beyond us. I've been feeling that we're a little bit behind in terms of tech, in terms of damage. We need laser weapons, and I think we're busy researching them. Holy shit balls, that's a Muton Elite. Holy crap, 25 hit points, 4 armor, 9 damage, 85 aim. Jesus, it just keeps coming. How many aliens are there? I've lost count. Oh my god. Do we just cut our losses and get out? I mean, if we're gonna run, now's the time to do it. Before we even suffer any losses. You make the argument for trying to nick the gear and then get out with it, but... Good lord. Yeah, this is pretty dire. Let's let's stand fight. Let's post up here behind this high cover. On the plus side, once we end these bits of cover here, the aliens will have to come up here to get vision, which will make them run into Overwatch. No, it's not all doom and gloom. Kenneth, I don't want you to give me vision from there. There's no way to tell whether if I put him here, he's going to be flanked by these aliens if they move there. Small step and everything. Hmm. What I could do is I could put these guys here against this wall, get the kill here, which blocks, uh, procs the combat pheromones, which gives them more movement so they can move up on the next turn, for the rest of the turn. Yeah, it'll do that. 
Wang, how can you cause the most damage? I think you should probably freeze those four aliens there. Okay. Just to limit the chance that Kenneth gets shot in the back. And that codex still has to die. Can't hit all four, can you? It's just a regular Viper. Let's leave that regular Viper. Get ready for a surprise! Oof, scary. It was really careless of me having Neutron get uh, get spotted there. Let's see, so seven tile radius. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. There's a seven tile radius on the combat pheromones. That should be within seven tiles. That should be. If you have luck, low. Hmm. Maybe some of you had low profile. That would have been great. You just get. Gonna run up here on the next turn. I don't expect Jensen to have vision from there, but we'll see. Ooh, you can see. Okay, you're there and there. Okay, right, let's go ahead and proc these combat pheromones for us. Are you kidding me? The fucking thing survives. Oh, so it was showing us six hit points, but the auto dock healed it, and then the healed points didn't show. Ugh, this fucking game. That was me insane. Might as well use the pistol, no sense in spending the uh, rifle shot. Goodness sake, now, Sugar Stalkers, anyway, you can get vision of this codex in a blue move. Was that vision? Any of these? New. No. I mean, that ball bag codex is probably just going to move anyway. How big is the acid splash? It might be worth aciding all of these guys here. With a good damage over time. Ah, oh, hit those two. Okay, you hit these two if you can. And I can't hit both of them. It's not, not our map, is it? Come on. Ah, oh, needed to be on a grenadier. Hmm. Okay. Runaway time. This mission's a disaster. I just I just know this is not gonna be good. Let's just get out while we can. If it was a guerrilla, guerrilla mission or a council mission, I'd be much more inclined to stay. But the fact that it's just uh, resources we will be getting Means it's not worth dying for. Besides, I think we're just over a week away from uh, laser weapons. Let's get laser weapons and we'll be in a better spot. I mean, I think it was like episode 16 or 18 or something where one of you guys commented that we're like really far behind, tech wise. And I made the comment that this is just the knock on effect of all those losses we took in the first four or five episodes. We lost like four or five or even six troops and we had to spend almost 300 supplies to replace them and that's 300 supplies that could have gone to the AWC ouch <sighs> and all the GTS so the GTS and AWC were delayed which has just had this huge huge knock-on effect And of course, having this Berserker Pack uh, Dark Event activate has been pretty bad as well. This is unbelievable. One, two, three, look at that. I mean, that, that's 4 times 28 is what, 112 hit points? Jesus. But I just fucked up the maths. Okay, I, I dropped maths in high school. Don't judge me. Alrighty, let's get out, everyone. Run away bravely.
There's no point in dying here. Okay. If we make the mistake, we will, if we stay, I think. I'll get one kill out of it at least if we can. So unfortunately we took a wow that effect looks amazing, look at that. That's so cool. Body team, run away bravely. Run away! That brave Sir Robin. Oh god, I hate him to run away. But I'm pretty damn sure that staying here would be a major, major, major mistake. On the move. Ugh, this sucks. Make sure we get this right. There's nothing worse than uh, sure right misclicking on a retreat and then someone dies because of that. Time to show you how much stamina I got. <laughs> Come on, Fatty. I hope it's worth it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight troops. Well, oh. all pods active, everyone. Get Shit's nine. hard, yo. Also consider the fact that uh, we have not even activated the alien rulers yet. Can you imagine if we had to deal with a snake ruler on this mission? Jesus Christ. Or a berserker queen running at us. <laughs> yeah, this is brutal. This, this is brutal. Still, I'm confident laser weapons are going to turn around for us. Get a, get, give us some more, some more uh, damage. We need to get a few assault troopers trained up as well to make the, make the difference for us. I, I just think that being conservative now is the right way to do it. Once again, campaigns are pretty much, pretty much, it's not on the, on the brink yet. It's, it's not on an knife edge like it was when we almost lost to the Doom Counter. But the aliens are way ahead of us in terms of tech and power. We should prioritize getting some scientists if we can get our research going. If I can justify getting a lab built up, should we do that as well? Have I got a lab already? I don't know, I'm getting confused. Between this campaign and the Twitch campaign. Anyway. God, it sucks. No one died though, just a wound on Kenneth and he'll be out for like a week probably. That's XCOM, guys. You gotta know when to run. Aggression being the better part of Valor here. Yeah, just a week. Not too bad. No promotions, unsurprisingly. Just the one with Codex Brain. Not the end of the world. Oh, God, that's disappointing. Finish getting that intel. Let me just take stock of where we are here. Right, definitely want spare parts. All proving ground projects cost. Yeah, that's pretty good. Suit up is an amazing one as well. Armor and vest proving ground projects completed instantly. That means we can build the exo suits instantly. As long as we have the, uh, the requisite materials. Asia. Pursuit of knowledge is good. Uh, each lab research time by 20%, but that would involve one, two, three, four contacts. We can only make one more. I think the one more we want to do should be here in Europe. What is the contact cost? 80. Okay, good. So we've just got to find more intel. Avenger plotting new course. Oh, man. Disappointing. Now, oh, two weeks for laser or pulse lasers. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. It is unfortunate, Commander, that your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. Mm, next retaliation imminent. All right. That one, we don't want that one. We don't want extra enemies. Mind shields is kind of annoying, and I want to see what that hidden event is. So, to that end, let's finish getting this intel so I can reveal that. Ooh, gas bomb. Nice. 
Oh, because that's because we've got experimental uh, explosives. All right. We don't actually have a gas bomb, do we? I'll put the proving ground. Okay, the proving ground Remember? is standing idle. Won't have that. Skull mining, I really want. I think I got what kind of grenades we got here. Pretty sure we have an acid grenade. And we have a gas bomb as well. And an acid bomb. Okay, cool. Larger radius and standard frag grenades. Dramatic effect on organic enemies. That's perfect for dealing with the berserkers. Well, it's a bit late now, isn't it? I don't think we need any more experimental grenades. Acid and gas are the two you want. Well, acid is the one you want. If Whether you get gas or incendiary is the other one. It doesn't matter too much. Gas is probably a better, better one. It doesn't do as much damage, but it slows enemies and reduces their stats. Essentially like a flashbang plus damage over time. It's really, really good. I don't think what I should put into that proving ground. I think skull mining, so we can start using the skulljack offensively. It will also help with our intel problems. A lot of times you'll be able to get a small intel cache. Now let's see. Go scan first and we'll use that. We'll use the supplies to uh, pay for skull mining. Comes a bit low, we need to make more contact. I'd love to go buy a scientist if I can. Only only five, jeez like. What do we have to Just build items wise? Overdrive we're not gonna get. Smoke we're not gonna get. Cyan we don't need yet. Helix rail cannon, hmm. That's, that's, that's a luxury I'm afraid. Like it'll be great to get the spark involved. We've only got the one. And 175 supplies is an awful lot just to improve the gun of our spark we're hardly ever going to use. I want to use the spark extensively, but I don't think it's the right move right now. Commander, let's go for skull mining. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Battlefield medicine is tempting as well. Improve, make our heals go a bit further. How much is it there? 75 supplies. Let's first see how much a scientist would cost us. We can go buy one at headquarters. Setting course for sector eight, Mexico. I must click there. I think I went to the black market instead. No, that's headquarters. Welcome, Commander. 245. Ouch. But hey. Good. That's better now. Eight engineers, six scientists. A power coil getting shielded that'll give us a little bit more supplies but this is still going to be workshop resistance com resistance com we could easily put a lab there labs only like 150 odd yeah three power how are we doing for power only three left but this relay can get upgraded and we can put another power there and actually remove the defense matrix because we're just paying for it really and it's doing nothing for us We've already had the Avenger defense mission, and I don't think it's going to happen again. I mean, if we have to, we can always emergency rebuild it. Like, what's it costing us per month? Probably like 20 odd. Yeah, I'm going to hang on to it for the next, you know, right before the next supply drop. But I'm going to think about getting rid of it. Uh, where do you go again oh, for. Yeah, Avenger report. Uh, latest. Yeah costing us four power though and 20 per month hey commander hang on to it for the moment okay skull mining will be ready soon work is well underway pulse laser weapons in 11 days i have to admit there is something exciting yeah man this is kind of a low-key episode but hey avenger plotting new course game is hard Game is very hard. Right, retaliation strike. I'm trying to remember if this is going to be an assault or a save civilians mission. I 
do we have a grenadier who can use a battle scanner for us? Good, we do have a battle scanner. I still Jawara. We will take a sniper or two. In fact, two. Portnoy, you can chill back at base. Quad Fox, you can take battle scanner. Two ice grenades. Uh, give me them sharpshooters. I love sharpshooters on these uh, these missions. They're so good. Normally, you don't have to move very much. You can just chuck your sharpshooters up onto high ground and they can just start shooting, really. I don't mind giving them blue screen rounds either. I mean, a lot of times they're going to be shooting at, uh, at, at mechs. The mechs are going to be standing out in the open, or they'll be shooting at targets that we've already removed their cover with grenades. Okay, you can take the backup med kit. What's the towel? Take those dragon rounds, please. Well, no, you can take AP rounds, which means then that one of our sharpshooters can be given dragon rounds. Aim 104. Okay, so Nakamura is the organic target sniper, and Wardy is the mechanical uh, unit sniper. So try to bear that in mind. Okay. Where's the M16? Weapons? Oh, there you go, hang on. Bumblebee, Hacker. I might actually give him the one with, the, with an improved laser sight, because he doesn't, honestly, he doesn't really need the superior scope. Although the expanded mag is excellent. But yeah, that's, you should take that one. And a mag pistol. Let's see, gas bomb, I want to say. Got EMP because you can throw it so far. We will put the gas bomb on our assault or the shinobi. You can use blue screen. And what else can we give you? 15 hit points is fine. 100 wool is great. The plasma grenade is just fine. Where is our shinobi? In, a, in that case, alright then. Acid on the Shinobi, gas on the Assault. Sweet. Job shooter, dragon round, that's good. I'm sure we can do better than a shotgun though, you got a good SMG. Hornet, laser sight, superior stock, beautiful. Is there an improved off blade? No. Man, I'm wishing I had Grimey's loot mod. <laughs> Grimey's loot mod makes it so much easier. My Twitch campaign is going so much better. Grimey's loot mode makes such a difference. Also because you get to the point where you're not actually using uh, any of the, the boxes you're picking up, so you just sell them. You get such a cash injection. Wonderful. Yeah, well, I might as well give him the Shadow Keeper and then a clutch point he can potentially get himself uh, into stealth if need be. When you take the Bolt Coaster, Got an expanded mag. Okay, can only shoot twice though. Hmm. You know what? Hacker's probably better than grenade launcher. One plasma, two frost. What if I shouldn't go the other way? Explosive check. One, two, two. Alright then, definitely. We'll go with one freeze, two explosive. And we'll use the freeze grenade just as an oh shit moment. Okay, I like this setup. This is good. This is good. Although, a specialist kind of a grenade, he needs to carry medkit and blue screen. So we've only got two explosive grenades. Yeah, that's no good. Hmm. I think we can actually do without the acid grenade, given the amount of blue screen we have. The only super heavy armored target we'll be up against would be a mechanized unit, and the mechanized units will, will, will die very quickly to the blue screen. Okay, so, Operation Burning Chalice, we need to go defend the Resistance Haven. It's going to be very difficult, we've got ourselves a nice squad here. I, I quite like retaliation missions, it's just a chance to get the snipers out in the field. 
Big Shot. I didn't get to use enough. Try to be more aggressive using our snipers, but hey. This is where they're really gonna shine. We'll get them up at the high ground and we'll just start shooting shit. It's gonna be great. Bossy Tile, Aussie Les, Shakes, Captain Wardy, Quad Fox, McCott, Neutron, and Ito. This is uh, XCOM 2, I'm Stobby149, and as always, thanks for watching everyone. See you next time.